G3 is your first choice for California crop transportation. We provide personalized service and reliability for every crop, every season. G3. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you here today with Bob Klein from the California Pistachio Research Board. I uh, really appreciate your good work on behalf of the pistachio industry. There's never any shortage of issues and things to deal with and, and problems to solve. Uh, one uh, potential concern that was brought up uh, recently at Pistachio Day is IKD or internal kernel discoloration. A cosmetic concern with dealing with uh, Golden Hills, right? A uh, variety of pistachio. It's, this is an, one of our newer varieties that pretty much all of the new acreage is going into, right? Right. Uh, probably since about 2011, virtually all the acreage has been planted has been Golden Hills. So it makes up probably about 50% of the acreage out there now. And so we, we've got a little bit of concern for the way the pistachio you know, might appear. Uh, can you elaborate, tell us, is this really an issue that growers should be concerned about? About six or eight years ago, when for Golden Hills first started coming into the, the processing plants, the inspectors there observed a discoloration on the interior of the kernel. You only see it if you break the kernel open and look at the internal section of the kernel. Oh, so it's not something we normally would look at. So this discoloration is a brown stain that can extend oh, halfway or more up the inside of the kernel, frequently less though, and is characterized by some dark, br darker brown rings. So it's e e easily observed and um, easily differentiated from any other thing that we've seen in the past in other pistachios. We've looked at it from several different angles. There's been uh, work by Joe Coelho at Valley Orchard Management and, uh, and also with, by Kent Dane with uh, Cooperative Extension showing that it's not insect. We know it's not disease. We know it's not um, a, a number of these other issues. It's not a herbicide issue or something like that. We see it only in Golden Hills and also a Lost Hills, but that's such a very small, minor acreage. And so we're not sure what it's caused by. It's internal in the kernel, so you don't see it. It is only in about two or three cells deep, so there isn't much there. You can't taste it. It doesn't affect any of the nutritional characteristics of, of eating it There's or the roasting. Toxic. There's nothing toxic. It's a, a polyphenolic basis, which are basically what your antioxidants are. So it's really an indication that these have more antioxidant potential than, than otherwise might have. Meaning this, this variety just happens to be healthier maybe than some of like the original like Kerman and stuff you're saying. <laughs> well, as we talk here, as we talk, as we talk about nutritional characteristics, it's still got the plant proteins, it's got all the oils and lipids that you, that you want, it's got the right vitamins, none of that is degraded, and it's just an indication perhaps of greater antioxidant potential. So um, again, this was brought up recently, and so, so some of the industry knows about this, and, and you're you know, in, a, in a position to be able to help clarify that this is not a real issue that people should be concerned about, right? I wouldn't quite say it's not a real issue. It is a concern, but it's not a, a huge a overriding concern. There is no deleterious effect. It is strictly a cosmetic issue that is hidden from view. So it's a, a, we, we anticipate having a resolution to it shortly. Well, we look forward to, to hearing the news. I, I, you know, more and more every year we have, have more acreage getting planted, and a lot of it is the Golden Hills variety. And so people are rightfully concerned and making sure that, you know, when they plant the variety, they're doing the right, the right one. Uh, yeah. But it sounds like this is just an extra healthy variety, and, and it's manifesting itself in a unique way. And hopefully... That's not going to be a problem in the long run. That's what we hope. So thank you for, for your clarification here. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.